Hey Yaki Gang, Yaki Dori Guy here, and today is a Tare video part 2. So it's been about two years since I started this YouTube channel and exactly two years since I made the how to make yakitori tare video which happens to be one of the most viewed videos on this channel. Every week the most common private messages and the comments I receive are Yaki Gang proudly sharing their baby mother pot that they started and also questions about tare. And so today let's talk about all those tare questions as we make new tare which I'm gonna add to this now four year old tare mother pot. In the first video, this tare was only two years old and still baby. So it's matured since then, absorbing all the flavors from the smoky chicken drippings from all the latest videos and the recent pop-ups. Speaking of pop-ups, I've now moved to LA where I've been hosting all these yakitori dinners. And thank you to the YouTube Yaki Gang who have been coming out to these pop-ups, saying you've been watching these videos on YouTube, trying out my food. I appreciate all your guys' support. So as you can see, the tare pot, which started out full, it's gone down a bit. So this drop, this is about from two weekends of dinner. So about 50 people. And I dip about a third of the skewers. So probably maybe about 150 skewers worth of drop right here. And when using the tare, as you dip, make sure to shake those skewers off. So one, you're not wasting all those precious tare all over the place around the grill or your table. And most importantly, two, to make sure all those smoky chicken fat drippings go back into your tare mother pot. Got some wing tips and some carcass from two whole chickens along with some negi. So let's get this on the grill. We got the wing tips, chest carcass, back carcass, all smoking up right here. These are golden crispy, so they're ready to come off the grill. All right, so we have 800 milliliter of sake. This is shochuku bai. You can get it for five to ten dollars at most Asian markets. This is what I use to spray on my yakitori as well. And then we got 800 milliliters of meeting. So this is takara meeting, 12% volume alcohol. So pretty much it's like sake, but just much more seasoned. If you can get this type of good meeting, I recommend that. But if not, a lot of people have been asking. I can't find meeting. I can find basically aji meeting, honteri, sort of these meeting type condiments. If this is all you can find at your local Asian grocery store, it's okay. Just go with this. I know in my original video, I said try to get the good stuff, but this is all you can find. Don't worry. Don't let the limitation of not being able to find the good meeting stop you from making this yak. Just make this so you can start making yakitori at home. Let's get this heated up. And into this sake meeting, we're gonna add this carcass. So we got the carcass, the wing tips that we roasted on binchotan, along with the negi scraps. Make sure everything is submerged. And if it's boiling too much, turn down the heat a bit, get it to simmer. We're just letting that alcohol evaporate and also all the chicken bones that we roasted in Binchotan, it's just adding that yakitori flavor back into this. So all that smoky chicken fat and the flavors, it's going into this sake and miri mix. And after 20 minutes, we're gonna add 120 milliliters of sugar. I know it seems like a lot of sugar, but this is what gives tare that sweet umami, as well as it just makes it thicker so that it sticks on to the chicken. After 40 minutes, we're seeing color in this. All from mainly the bones and the negi. All right, so at this point, all the alcohol should have evaporated. We got the sugar melted. It's been simmering for the past 40 minutes. Let's add the last component. We have 300 milliliters of soy sauce. The same with the first tare video for making the yakitori tare. I always recommend go with the Japanese brand soy sauce. So in this case, we have Yamasa right here, Kikoma, some of the other smaller brands that are doing maybe the organic soy sauce. Go with those because the Japanese soy sauce, let's say compared to the Chinese or other Southeast Asian soy sauces, it's gonna taste different. And so for the yakitori tare to taste how it's supposed to be, you want to use a Japanese soy sauce. Now, there are different soy sauces. This is sort of standard soy sauce. We have here usukuchi, light soy sauce. There's also amakuchi sweet soy sauce. Those you can play around with. And when you make your tare, just see if you like different sort of aromas from different soy sauce. If you just wanted to start off though, just go with the standard soy sauce. That's always a good place to start. 
As we wait an hour, as the tare simmers and reduces, I wanted to answer the top yakigan questions about tare. So the top question I do get about tare is how to store it. So once you're done with your yakitori, just let your tare cool, make sure to wrap it up tight and put it in your fridge, maybe in the back of the fridge where it's gonna be kept cold. And this should last a few weeks, possibly a few months. I can't really guarantee it because it's gonna be depending on how you use that tare. You gotta make sure you didn't put anything raw in it, didn't make sure you didn't put your hands in it. Just if the tare is kept clean and you don't have any pieces of chicken or other debris in it, it should last a few weeks and possibly a few months in the back of your fridge. Now, if you haven't used your tare for a while, just open it up, smell it, make sure it still smells like tare, make sure there's nothing funky growing in there, and if it all looks good, just reheat that up and you can use it for your next yakitori session. But if you're worried about your tare going bad, just use your tare often. So use this as a motivation and try to make yakitori, if not every week, maybe every other week with all your friends and family. The more you use your tare, adding new hot tare into it as you're cooking it, dipping it, as you're reheating it up. Basically, the more you use a tare, you're gonna be able to help that tare last longer and longer and develop deeper flavors. All right, and another question I often get is a variation along the line of how thick should the tare be or how sweet or salty the tare should be. So if you follow along this recipe, this is sort of my standard tare. But depending on the different shops you go to, some shops might have thicker or looser tare. Some might be a little bit sweeter. Some might be a little bit salty. So I would leave that as sort of a preference for you. So try out this tare as sort of that basics and go from there. Just match to your preference of how you like your tare to match with your yakitori. So just try different things. This is just a starting point and the same thing with all yakitori all my tutorials recipes those are just starting points use that to build upon your style of yakitori another question can i add different aromatics to the tare so right now the only aromatics i have in here this is just the negi the onions but some people are asking can i add garlic or ginger you can definitely add a variety of other vegetables and spices as i said this is sort of the basis ginger or garlic those are actually pretty common as tare flavors as well some shops they don't even add any of the aromatics or even these chicken bones it's basically just the simple flavors of just the, the sake sugar and soy sauce and all the other flavors are coming from the yakitori that gets dipped into it so try different things out and lastly I do get asked about whether or not you can substitute the sake or mirin so whether for maybe uh, religious or personal reasons you can't have the alcohol and the sake or mirin some alternatives let's say to the the sake flavors is for the sake you're getting sort of that sweetness that extra umami so if you can't use sake or mirin you can definitely go for just more water and more sugar to just bump up the sweetness or you can try other sweet flavors so you can maybe try honey you can also try other syrup so try different things the basic components of the tare it's going to be the soy sauce adding that umami and that saltiness the sugar adding the sweetness and the thickness and in the sake and meeting just additional loads of basically the sort of the sweetness the thickness and the umami so if you can substitute anything else that's gonna add that little bit of deeper sweetness that's what you're gonna to wanna to try. So whatever ingredients that you might have access to that will add that extra loaded umami sweetness, try that out to make your version of tare that's gonna meet your dietary needs. So it's been about an hour. Let's turn off the heat. Now this has lowered, at least in this pot, about an inch. So it's, it, it's reduced a lot, definitely thicker. It's not that thick ketchup or teriyaki sauce, a thick teriyaki sauce consistency. It's still a little bit looser, but definitely thicker than, let's say, straight up soy sauce. So this is kind of the thickness that I'm going for. So I'm gonna take this and add this into the mother pot. The tata inside the mother pot, it's pretty thick. So when it mixes up, this is gonna thicken as well. And there's still some tare left in here, so let's get this out on here. And because this tare is still hot, you don't want to cover it up yet. Just leave some room for it to evaporate or else you're just going to get a lot of condensation. We just want this to evaporate as much as possible. And all these pieces that are left in here are going to be absorbing all that soy sauce and sugar and sake. This is going to be really good otsumami. Otsumami is small bites that you enjoy with your sake. All right, so we just replenished this mother pot, getting a little bit dark. But then the grill out there that we were grilling the bones earlier, it still has plenty of heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some yakitori. I just wanna say thank you to all the yaki gang who have been tuning in for the past two years, watching all the tutorials. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the comments, feedback, questions I get from you all the time. There's definitely more to come. I wanna keep on sharing you 
all the insights of yakitori, so please stay tuned. And that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Bye, Yaki Gang.